Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this discussion, we are going to look at the Mars 2 and 3 spacecraft, which, as you may guess, explored the planet Mars. So Mars 2 and 3 were launched in May of 1971. And the orbiter and lander reached Mars in November of 71 and December of 71. Now the Mars 2 lander was unsuccessful and actually crash landed and the exact reason is not known as to why it why it crashed. The Mars 3 on the other hand did have a soft landing on Mars and lasted about two minutes. Now there were some other issues and one of the big problems was it was able to start sending back data and we can see part of its very first transmission here. But as we can see, it was incomplete and really not able to pick up a lot of detail there. One of the problems was that it reached Mars during a planet wide dust storm. Now these do happen from time to time. And here is a Hubble image showing the dust storm here and what the difference is between Mars. Now this was not the dust storm that occurred in 1971. This was a different dust storm much more recently. But you can see on the left hand side, we can see features on Mars, we can see structures, we can see craters, we can see lighter and darker areas. When we look on the right hand side all we see is everything kind of in a haze and that's because of the amount of dust. Now we get dust storms here on Earth they're generally localized to specific areas. On Mars they will actually become planet wide and that limited the fact that this occurred limited the ability of the orbiters to get any images and may have been part of what affected the lander for Mars 3. Uh, part of the dust storm may have been a problem as to why it was not able to last any longer than just those couple minutes. Of course, planning for the dust storm is not something we can predict. Just like weather conditions here on Earth, we can make some predictions, but other things will come up and cannot be exactly pre predicted, especially well in advance when you have to send the craft out many months in advance. As you see here, it took it um, about six to seven months to get to Mars. So you'd have to know what is going on that far in advance. Now the storm did subside. So while the landers were not able to get us anything, there were images able to be obtained. And this is one of the Mars three images from the orbiter after the storm subsided. So we can start to see some uh, lighter and darker areas in this one image. Now remember that when we compare these to the Hubble images that we looked at, we're looking at very differences in quality and decades worth of difference in uh, technology improvement. So of course, things are not going to look quite as nice here as they did with the Hubble Space Telescope or with the more modern rovers that we see today. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit about what we've looked at here today. And what we talked about were the Mars 2 and 3 craft. Mars 2 was the very first craft to land on Mars, even though it crashed. Mars 3 was the first soft landing on Mars, but the lander failed after just a couple of minutes. The fact that they visited during this dust storm limited the images that were able to be obtained from orbit until that dust storm subsided later on. So that concludes this discussion of the Mars 2 and 3 spacecraft. We'll be back again next week for another exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.